Hi Digital Marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you that how to set up purchase event for Pinterest tag by using Google Tag Manager. Now, let's get started. We have to confirm that our data layer is enabled with our website or not. So, we are go to Google Tag Manager and go to the preview option to check it out. Our data layer is enabled or not. Uh, that is our dummy website and connect with the website by google tag assistant now scroll it and open a product page and then go to add to cart and also the second one will be click the add to cart button after completing add to cart process then go to checkout options and click the checkout and here we will put the dummy information for the purchase event and place in order. Our dummy order is completed. Now back to the Google Tag Assistant and check it out what is happening with our data layer. Now we are see that our purchase event is working. And if you go to the data layer options here, you can find out your product variable, which you want to make any kind of parameter for this you require event. So now we are check it out. Our data layer is enabled with our website. Now back to the Google Tag Manager and create a new tag for our purchase event. Click New. Tag Configuration sections. We have to select the Pinterest tag. Here we see the Pinterest tag. Click the Pinterest tag. Now we put the tag ID which we are implementing in the part one and two. That is Pinterest tag ID. We are put it now time to HTML for the HTML. You have to click, click the plus sign and also here in the variable section, you can click the plus sign and the variable configurations. We are the creating data layer variable for that. Now we are find out the variable from the tag assistant. So we are go to the tag assistant and find out the, our hash email. Go to the data layer. You can see that in the water data sections, we can find out our hash email. So we can pick in the parental topic as a water data. And secondly, we are pick customer for the hash email. And, and then we are picking the billing and here you see the email hash. You can see in our data layer already provided the hash email. If your data layer is not provided the hash email, then you can see our another video. With this video, I will explain each and everything how to create a hash email and phone number. I will give the link on the description box. You can check it out for the hash email and hash phone number. So in my case, I find out the hash email in our data layer. So I can create a hash email variable for that. So according to my instructions, firstly, we pick the water data for hash email paste the water data then pick the customer paste it and third one we are picking billing under the billing section we have to pick the hash email so copy the billing paste it and then finally we are pick the hash email here we see the two hash email that's not a big deal you can see the email hash and email underscore hash we are seeing the same value so you can pick one email hash copy it and paste it hash email now we are giving a variable name that is hashed email save it then next we are finding our event we are select the checkout event i think you are already know that pinterest do not provide any kind of purchase event pinterest only provide the checkout event and which are count by the purchase so we are select the checkout for the pinterest so now time to order value we are creating a new variable for the order value according to my instruction you can click the plus sign and also in the variable sections you can click the plus sign and now time to create a variable from that for that we are click the data layer variable and go back to the our tag assistant finding the variable for the order value so go to the tag assistant and you can find out that in the purchase event sections you can find out the value here we see the total value not a single value we want to put the total value so we are pick this variable you can see value so firstly pick the e-commerce then secondly as a child topic of e-commerce 
copy the e-commerce, paste the e-commerce dot, and now our finally pick the value. So copy the value from it and paste the value. So we're giving a variable name that is DLB total value, not a single value. I say it again. Save it. Now time to currency. Again, the same process. Click the plus sign and also click the variable plus sign to create a currency variable that is data layer variable and go to the tag assistant to collecting the variable for the currency. So here we can see the currency and copy the e-commerce, paste it dot currency, copy the currency. And we are giving a variable name also that is DLB currency save it now time to order quantity then again click the plus sign and here also the plus sign by this time we are creating the this variable for the custom javascript variable because you can see the our google tag assistant and go to our data layer here you can see we are ordered to product and here you can see the quantity is one for first one and second one is a quantity one but we have to put in the total quantity so for this total quantity we are using the custom javascript code this code is help to collecting the all quantity of products so now we are creating a custom javascript for the total quantity parameter so as usual click the custom javascript after the putting the code we are at our e-commerce items which we are created part one that is dlb items and here we putting the code also here you see the quantity as per your data layer you have to put in the value as a quantity if you back to the google tag assistant and here see our variable showing here quantity if your data layer is suppose something like that items quantity or product quantity then you can putting the product quantity and item quantity but my data layer is showing only the quantity so i putting the quantity as a value here so we are done for that now giving a variable name variable name that is custom javascript total quantity cgs and total quantity save it and also we are putting a water id variable so click the plus sign and also here click the plus sign and that will be the data layer variable and for the variable value we are go to the google tag assistant and finding out what is our order id here you see that is our transaction id that is the order id according to gf4 schema that is called transaction id and according to pinterest schema that is called order id so we are pick the transaction id so firstly we are pick the e-commerce and back to google tag manager paste the e-commerce and again we are picking the our final variable parameter is transaction id so paste the transaction id and finally giving the name of this variable that is dlb order id save it we are almost done it now time to line items in the previous video i will show you in the all of the process now we put our customer parameters one is line items and here we create a array in the previous video that is pinterest array here you can find out the pinterest array and second one is event id and put the value for this parameter that is event id we are almost done so now time to create a trigger so create a new trigger go to plus sign trigger configuration we pick the custom event here we putting our event name what event we have to track that is the purchase but i said again pinterest has not any kind of purchase they are only event name is check out but our data layer is built for a ga4 schema so i put the purchase as an event for the pinterest put the event name and then giving a trigger name that is event pinterest checkout save this trigger and we are almost done now finally that is our last task giving a tag name that is pinterest checkout save the tag and now time to testing so as usual we are go to the preview options 
continue and go to our website and look see in the right side our tag assistant already connected with our website so we are again go to some dummy purchase open a product page and we are open a two product page first one we are click that to cart second one also we are click the app to cart and after completing that to cart processes we are go to the checkout and here click the checkout button and and this time we are putting a some dummy information for this place and water process and place and water and back to the google tag assistant here see our pinterest checkout tag is fired perfectly go back to our pinterest tag helper and see are showing there our all information here we see our both product information our product id product name product price all of that are showing here and now we are go to ads.pinterest.com in the event overview sections look at that our checkout event is working perfectly if you go to the details here events field and parameters all are working perfectly so congratulations finally we are successfully set up the pinterest purchase event by help of google tag manager for our website so thanks for watching this video i will see in the next video thank you